Dragon Donuts at Boone High School in Orlando is no more. It's a clear message that this is going to be the future of Florida public education, and it's been really disheartening. Weeks ago, 16-year-old Scarlett Seiler, president of the school's Queer and Ally Alliance, invited drag queen Mama Ashley Rose to speak to fellow after-school club members. It was supposed to be a speaker coming to tell kids about how to feel comfortable in their own skin. All was set to go as planned until she learned Wednesday, but day before the event, it was suddenly canceled. And the Department of Education threatened to remove their licensing and basically anyone that had anything to do with this, if it moved forward, they would be in trouble. Jason DiGiazzo, who performs as Mama Ashley Rose, says this would have been his third year invited to speak to students at the school. Why the big deal now? He's not sure. If it was Cinderella showing up to their school, there would be no issue. But the fact that I am a man and I wear a dress showing up, that is the issue. Orange County School Board member Alicia Ferran spoke against the event on her social media Wednesday after hearing from concerned parents the night before. If we're allowing this, then are we going to start allowing, um, you know, female strippers to come in, dressed as strippers? But they're not stripping for anyone. They're just going to be mentoring. Is that going to be allowed? Where does the line, where do we draw the line? Both Jason and Scarlett say the battle the state is picking is bigger than drag queens. No matter what they say, it's homophobic and it's transphobic, and the list can go on of what phobias it is. There was nothing wrong with what Mama Rose was going to wear if it was on a woman. It was a wig and a dress. But the problem was who was in the dress. Scarlett tells me tomorrow's events will still go on as planned, except there will not be a drag queen. Instead, of students will be discussing Florida's education policy after this whole debacle. We're still waiting to hear from the Florida Department of Education. For now, we're live in Orlando. I'm Patrick Perez, Fox 35 News.